by doing that, we have our actions not all the way set up, but largely set up for what we need to be done as far as the actual programming to have our animation work. Okay, so for this first condition, we need to tell GDeveloped what we wanted to do when the left key is pressed. However, since we're working on isometric movement, we also need to tell GDevelop to not do something when other buttons are pressed. So the way this is set up for left key, this first condition is fine. We need to set this up so that when we press up and down, nothing happens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, copy, I'm going to add condition that is in the sub event. You can tell from this blue bar. We're, so this time we want to be in our sub event. So I'm going to select paste. And then where we have this other add condition, I'm also going to select right click and then select paste. And the reason why I did that is I want to change this left to up. And then I want to change this left here. It's left because I just pasted that, copied and pasted. I want to change this to down. And now what I want to do is right now it's saying, okay, when left key is pressed, up, when up key is pressed, when down key is pressed. I want when left key is pressed, but I want this to be not, not when up key is pressed. I'm going to double click here and I'm just going to change this to invert condition. And you can see this little symbol pops up to let me know that that's invert condition. So now this is set up correctly and this is set up to work right now. So we need to do this for the other four buttons. So I'm going to right click, select copy, and then I'm just pasting so we have this invert already set up. Hopefully I'm not confusing you. And using copy and paste, we're able to you know, get that work going that quickly. Okay, so we have this left button is pressed. This second action, the one that matches up with number two, because it's important that this matches up with our animations that we set up before. So this is going to be right. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to change this to right. And then for this, we have this up key is set up. That's good. Now for this right here, this second uh, inverted action dealing with our right our animation working with our right key, we're going to click here and we're going to change this to down. Okay, so now our left key and our right key are set up how they should be. So now what we need is we need our up and down key. So we're going to click here, we're going to name this up, and this is a capital U, by the way, I'm putting in. And then for this down, the same thing, this is going to be a capital D for down. And then where we have this, you know, up, 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 basically saying what we need for these buttons to say for dealing with up and down is we need them to say left and right. So I'm going to click here, change this to left, change this to right. Same thing here. Change this to left. And then change this to right. Okay, so with what we have set up here, we actually have our animations almost set up for left, right, up and down. What we want to do is go back to game one. We want to double click on our player and everything is set up for our animations as far as up, down, left, and right to work with the exception of this right here. And what this is, is we need to actually set up how the time runs for our 
animation. So what we want to do is this clock symbol here, we want to click right on this one. What we want to do is change this to 0 0.05 and then press enter. And then after we did that, what we can do is click on uh, preview and now we can see that we can see our mech walking here. However, what we want is we want this to loop. Currently it says don't loop, so we're just going to left click here for loop. And now when we go to preview, we can see our mech going through its, uh, its walk animation. So pretty much what we need to do is to do this to the rest of our frames. So we're going to just scroll down, click on don't loop, click here, change this to uh, 0 0.0. Five, and now we're just going to do this over and over again. Click on don't loop 0 0.05. And when we click don't loop, we're clicking that because we're making this say loop 0 0.05. And this is just a speed that I think looks good. Don't loop 0 0.05. Don't loop. 0.05. Now I'm saying don't loop, but it's I'm clicking on don't loop to make this loop 0.05. And when I click a 0.05, this is making the animation faster. So if you go to play an animation, it doesn't work, and everything looks like it's set up right. It might be that your uh, timing for your animation isn't set up correctly. So with this set up, now we can left click on apply. Okay, now we can test out our animation. And one thing I want to say before we test this out, when we set up these conditions, we use the left key to uh, copy from. So we still have this left key that you know, all of these copies right here. So left key is not set up right because of these. So when we preview this game, everything should work as far as our right, our up and our down key, but the left key is not gonna work because we have some more work to do. So what we can do is click play to preview. And when we press up, we can see we're animating up, pressing to the right, we're animating to the right, pressing down, we're animating to the right. And when we press left, as we expected, uh, we're not gonna animate correctly. Now, when we stop animating, like when we not stop and when we don't press, our mech should come to a stop. Uh, however, we haven't set that up yet, so everything is good for now. So what we want to do is when we press up, we can press up and to the right and see how we'll stay in the end. I'm pushing down just to bring this down. When I push up and to the right, the mech goes diagonal to the right, but it doesn't actually turn to the right. So we want to set that up now. Okay, so with these keys right here, what we want to do is, is where we have left key and left key, this is fine. We're going to copy this and we're going to paste here this other left. And the reason why we're doing that is because we want this to be left key is pressed and then up key is pressed. So we're going to click here. We're going to make this a capital U, but change this to up. And then right here, we're going to click here. We're going to change this to a capital D and then down. And then for right, for this right here, these last two keys, we want to click here, change this to a capital R for right. And change this to a capital R for right. Now we're going to copy this and then paste this and now roll my mouse to try to scroll down so this needs to say up now so we're gonna click here change this to capital P and then up capital D and then down you might say, like, what you know, why is he copy? Why is he pressing up and down and all that? Copy and pasting. Copy and pasting is just to try to make this quicker. You don't have to do that. You don't have to set things up. 
your uh, code needs to be set up like this, I mean, you still have more to do, but it needs to look like this. How you get to this, you can get to this multiple ways. I copied and pasted it just for the sake of speed. Okay, we're almost done with our work. We need to add some more code to five, six, seven, and eight. So we're gonna to go to add action. We're gonna to go to common action for all objects. We're gonna come down to movement and we're gonna look through our options and we're gonna go and select add a force. We're gonna select player for GDevelop to focus on. And then the speed axis and this Y axis, this uh, helps our player to move diagonal. So for the X axis, we need to enter 20. For the Y axis, we need to enter 45. Then we can click OK. And so now, since we have this line set up, now what we can do is we can just right click, select copy, paste, and we can just paste and then paste. And the reason why I'm copying and pasting again is for the sake of speed. So now we have this set up, and it's not a lot faster, but now we can just come and change these numbers. So for this number here, we need this to be negative 45. Oops. Okay, there we go. Negative 45. Same thing here. Negative 45. For this here, we need this to be 45. So we have 45 and 45 is correct. And then here we need this to be 20 and 45 for uh, our eight animation angle. Okay, now with all that set up, let's click our preview button. And now when we press our left, our right, that works, our down works, our up works. When we push up and left, that works. I'm coming down, I'm gonna push up and to the right, that works. I'm gonna push down and to the right, that works. So everything is working. There's one thing we have to do, and that's when we don't press our, uh, press and hold a key, our mech is still walking, so let's set that up now. Okay, when you look at all of these conditions here, these are sub-events here. This is an event, you can tell this is an event because it uh, isn't indented. These are sub-events. What we wanna do is make another actual event. So something that's not a sub-event. So to do that, we're gonna left click here. Now again, I'm saying again, because we did this before, where it says player is moving. We don't wanna click there. We wanna click right beneath there. Uh, and you can see like this blue line is right here. So with that done, we want to go to this button right here, which is add a new empty event. We're going to click that. And then after clicking that, all the way near the bottom, you can see we have this event, not a sub event. So we're going to left click on that. We're going to scroll down to where we get to top down movement. And then we're going to select is moving. And then we're going to select the player. And what we're going to do this time, because we did this for our first event, is we're going to click invert condition. So this is basically setting this condition to say when our object is not moving. And what we're going to do is we're just going to look to this action right here. We're going to right click, select copy, and then paste that here. And that just saved us the work of, you know, going through and finding this. And then when this says do equals eight, we're going to change this by clicking on the number. We're gonna just change this to zero, press enter. Don't have to press enter, you just click off of it. And what this should do is say, basically what's going on is, this is saying when the player is moving, when you press these keys, make these animations show. And then what this is saying is when the player is not moving, that's why that invert uh, symbol's there, make this animation show, and that animation is actually our idle animation. So now when I click the uh, preview button, you can see our mech is just sitting there. So when I push up, I let go. Our mech will come back to that idle pose. So now we don't have things where our mech, when we let go of our key, any of our movement keys is just uh, keeps moving. So now our mech actually stops.
Okay guys, that's it for the tutorial. So that is how you set up for isometric movement as well as animation here in GDevelop. If you like how I taught this video, please let me know. If you have suggestions uh, for things you would like to see on this channel or how you would or how you think I should do things on this channel, please let me know. Uh, be aware that I am a 3D artist. I spend most of my time modeling, uh, animating, texturing, and rigging. Uh, if you like this video and you would like to see more, please subscribe and thank you for viewing this video.